pleased to announce today on behalf of the province of Saskatchewan that together with our partners, the City of Regina and the Saskatchewan Rough Rider Football Club and all of their respective corporate sponsors and all of you, Rider Nation, that we will begin construction on a new 33,000 open air stadium in 2013. Of course, that's the big announcement that has the city, province, and of course, Rough Rider Nation talking. The minister in charge of the stadium fi file, Minister Ken Shevel-Dayoff, joins me now in studio to talk about it. Good morning, Ken. Uh, good morning, Molly. Thanks for waking up and getting off early for us. We appreciate it. Well, it's been an exciting weekend. Uh, it's just an unbelievable day on Saturday, and I had a chance to be on the field when the Premier made yeah. the announcement and hear uh, 33,000 screaming fans uh, excited about the future of the province and the riders and, and the stadium. Now, Minister Ken, we knew about the city's contribution. We knew about the province's contribution. Why this game? Why this weekend to make the announcement? Well, it, it was an announcement to bring it all together and to announce what the Saskatchewan Rough Riders are, are doing uh, to the tune of $125 million, $25 million through corporate sponsorship, $100 million in, in the form of a loan from the province that will be paid back by the uh, patrons of the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. So uh, an exciting package together, $278 million. It will make a, a state-of-the-art open-air stadium. You know, there's mixed feelings as I'm talking to fans and different people around the province this weekend. Um, some people say, you know, if we have to pay for this with our taxes, why wasn't there a plebiscite? Well, you know, governments are elected to do what they think is right, and, and uh, the mayor and uh, our, our government as well. We listen very close to what people have to say around the province. But, uh, you know, we realize that, that the facilities like this are necessary. They're necessary in, in Estevan and Weyburn and Melville, and, and that's why we looked at uh, the 30% uh, um, formula that, that the province would uh, contribute. There is a public good to facilities like this, and, mm -hmm. and I believe that there is a role for the public sector to play as well. Now, you know, big supporters of it were telling me, where's the dome? We're not going to have a dome. That was the big uh, worry there. Now, we know it's going to be roof ready. Right. But, you know, we look at construction costs and they're up, they're rising year after year. Why not bite the bullet now? Why not, you know, you know, thinking that they might rise? Why are we waiting to build a roof? Well, you do what you can afford. And, uh, you know, that's what we're doing here. Uh, we're going to build the best open air stadium that we can. Uh, for the money that, that is available, but there's going to be no impediment to putting that roof on later on. And I, I hear that from people around the, the province that they would like something that's a year-round facility with a fully uh, operational, retractable roof, but we can't afford that now. But uh, in the future, who knows? If the province keeps growing, uh, we're almost at 1.1 million people, and, and people will continue, I'm sure, to support the, the Rough Riders. And I think we're going to see many other events, uh, more concerts, more outdoor concerts, things like that come to uh, the city and the province. Province. Any idea of you know when that roof might be built in the future? Do you guys have a timeline at, at, law, at all? Right now we're just focusing on the design of the open air stadium. We're going to be looking at facilities across North America. We're going to be uh, keeping a very close eye on what's happening in Manitoba because they're uh, getting ready to uh, finish off their stadium. And uh, as far as the roof component, uh, we'll keep that on the back burner for a while. But again, we'll continue to, to monitor the technology that's happening around the world really as well because in Europe there's uh, new stadiums going up all the time. Now, Riders 25 million coming through through sponsorship and naming rights. When I look at that, you know, I don't really think that the Riders are actually fronting any money themselves. That's what, you know, is this enough for the organization that will be benefiting the most from this facility? Well, there is a facility fee, and the riders have been collecting uh, $8. Yes, I am. Uh, and <laughs> I and a guess. lot of that has gone to the improvements here. that are, are into the current mosaic. Yeah, well, the great Ben was here um, So the uh, by offering that, that fee and then an increase of $4, it's a substantial amount. It's the, the $100 million that, that's coming to repay the loan is really coming from the riders <laughs> and their fans. You right, almost the had fans, me there. Do you think there's any more responsibility, I guess, of the organization itself? I guess there's a lot of sponsors oh, because coming he doesn't on. Know. I think $125 <laughs> million is fantastic. And, uh, and I think there is going to be a real bidding war for the, uh, the naming rights. You know, Mosaic yeah. He's never actually called me by name. Part of it, I'm sure. But uh, I think there's others as well that uh, want to attach themselves to a facility like this. But a, a facility like this not only has the title naming rights, but there will be other uh, good. avenues where uh, to Linda. Uh, corporates can uh, Although attach we all themselves know about Linda. to uh, Much like the... Uh, the Ramey Arts what? Center in, Sa in Saskatoon. Last question, 33,000 person no. stadium. My tie um, is it seems very similar to what we cooking. have right now. What's going to be the added benefit of having this new one? 
Well, it'll be brand new, it'll be state of the art, Basically. it'll have the infrastructure, it'll have the, the water, <coughs> the, sewer, the bathrooms, uh, the, the seating that, that is something that'll be comfortable for people. And, uh, and I think 33,000 uh, is just the exact number absolutely. right now, but it'll be expandable for future Grey Cups or a Vanier Cup or concerts and things like that. But we'll see how it goes, but uh, I'm pretty excited about the future here in, in the new Saskatchewan. New stadium set to begin construction next year. Thanks for being here, Mr. Yeah. Minister. Thanks very much, Molly. So we're talking about the stadium. Everyone's talking about it. Mayor Pat Fiecko is here. He was one of the men behind the mic at Mosaic. So we're 2017, expected to actually have a new stadium. 2013, construction. How are you feeling, Mayor Pat? Well, I'm, feeling really, I'm feeling really good about it. This is obviously, uh, uh, this didn't happen overnight. We've been working a long time on this. And uh, our, our goal obviously was to get the funding in place before anything else happened. And, and I mean, there's been a lot of planning that's been done. But now that we do have the funding in place, um, we can get uh, started on finalizing the, the design. Hopefully we'll have um, that ready in the next uh, 30 days for citizens to have a look at and tell us what they think. And uh, indeed, uh, construction starting 2013. Now, speaking of that funding, you know, 0.45% property tax for 10 years for people here in Regina. What is that looking like for the average um, homeowner? So, so um, what we've done is, is we've created a scenario that doesn't only speak to um, the build, the capital cost itself, but also mm -hmm. the operating cost, because mm -hmm. sometimes I think we, we people forget about that, mm -hmm. that piece of it. We wanted to ensure that everybody understands uh, overall what this means to uh, not only the property taxpayers, but the users of the facility uh, on, an, on an expense side, uh, but then again on, on usage. So uh, primarily the entire, the entire project is going to be paid for by uh, the uh, users of the facility right now. Uh, to buy a rider ticket, uh, eight dollars of that rider ticket goes to the facility. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna by 2017, that'll be raised to twelve dollars, mm -hmm. so additional four dollars. That in itself will uh, repay back the loan. Okay. Um, and then of course uh, we've uh, also uh, signed an agreement with SAS Sport, where we'll have a tremendous amount of amateur sports involved, and SAS Sport will pay a fee as well. And uh, then uh, we've calculated what would be the maximum impact on the property taxpayer. The maximum impact would be 0.45%. Okay. Um, and uh, it could be as low as 0.35, it could be zero. Okay. Uh, but we, we, we don't want to mislead anyone. We want people to know exactly what it, the impact it's going to have. So it's very, very minimal. Put it in perspective. 0.62% of the mill rate um, goes towards funding uh, the uh, the new buses and fire trucks that we've purchased. Mm -hmm. uh, we've dedicated that for that purpose. So I think we've got a pretty good financial model that reduces the burden on the property taxpayers, ensures that those that are using the facility are actually paying for it. Yep. And on top of it, um, it's, the, it's the beginning of the big picture and that is um, the uh, Regina Revitalization Initiative which sees the demolition of Mosaic Stadium that becomes a new uh, neighborhood. And then, of course, the CP lands as well. Now, we talked a little bit about those that facility fee up to $12. You know, some people are already saying tickets are quite expensive to go to Mosaic. Are we creating, you know, an elite group of people that can attend football games here? No, this is common right across North America. Um, um, it, it's, it's, you know, we, people can't, we can't be talking out of both sides of our mouths and saying that it should be the users that pay and then and, and not do anything about it. Mm -hmm. uh, there is already an $8 fee attached to that. Um, and for those that want, uh, we need, first of all, Mosaic Stadium in its current state isn't going to work. Mm -hmm. to, re to replace Mosaic Stadium just as it is now would be about $150 million. And uh, when you look at that, that's an additional cost to the taxpayer. We've reduced that burden to only 73 by bringing on other partners. So I think that uh, at the end of the day, when people look at the type of facility that they're going to have, uh, they'd be more than happy. It's no different than us building the new rinks. When we built the new rinks, we had a lot of parents that were concerned, is this, is this going to cost way too much money for my kids to, to play mm -hmm. hockey? Mm -hmm. Well, that hasn't happened. Uh, we've seen an increase in enrollment. Our facility is being used around the clock. And uh, that's because, of course, it is a state-of-the-art facility, and um, it, it increases uh, that opportunity for kids to participate. All right. Well, thank you for being here this morning. Mayor My Pat. pleasure. And he's off to the Olympics. He's going to be an international judge in the boxing competition. We wish you good luck. Thank you very much. Hopefully, I'll get to catch up to you we'll while I'm there. We'll see you over there. You betcha.